Greetings everyone and welcome back to Frostpunk once more endless extreme mega city that we want to build here and we are at day 80 now a temperature drop is coming in of level 1 so we are going to negative 50 now uh, this will lead to chilly temperatures then in the bunkhouses so we will need to ramp up heating other than that we should still be fine for this drop right things should still work as intended now um, my two scouts have arrived the first one at the small cairn it turns out that the cairn is both a grave and cache. We firmly believe that the supplies were left for whomever finds themselves in need and not for the explorer's journey in the afterlife. We took them and reassembled the cairn. Now with that we get some coal and 11 raw food. And we can continue onwards to this stone ship, a standout point over there. The other scout has arrived at the frozen excavation. There is unfortunately nothing over there of interest. We unlock however the abandoned wreck and the damaged snowcat, both of them sound promising. And let's go for the abandoned rack first, it's closer, and then to the damaged snowcat afterwards. In the game itself, or in the city itself, we have just finished the steam coal thumper. That's another nice boost here to my coal then. So once the workforce comes in, we have more coal than ever now available. Um, we are about to research now the infirmary. And after that, I would like to go for tier 3 mechanical calculators. For that, we need to stockpile 100 wood though. So I hope that we can achieve this today. And yeah, also... There it is, temperature drop. And with that, we'll actually need to activate now the heating in the hothouses. So they still function, right? And out here, how's it looking? Should we need the heaters in the coal thumper for sure? In the steelworks as well. Uh, for the gathering post, it's chilly. That's fine for me right now. So we don't need to do this yet and save the coal. And with that, we should still have a positive coal surplus there. Yes, we have. But it's getting a bit tight there, right? So... Uh, especially the t the two levels that we see there, this is going to be a bit severe, right? So for that we need to prepare a bit more. Alright, that's working. A new day is dawning. We have the extended shift on the gathering posts again. We have the extended shifts on the sawmill that is working. And on the steelworks I would also like to put on extended shifts now. Cookhouse is fine without it, right? Because we should be able to to get all the, the raw food cooked and sick ways it's also fine it's so fine actually that we can relocate some of those engineers and probably probably for the sawmill so be that we bump up our wood because don't forget we do need that 100 wood today Just overall, we are on our way now to the second storm. We don't see this one yet. It's going to be a bit more severe, I think, than the first one. And in that case, um, we need to get a few more techs on the way. The third tech workshop. And definitely, we need to find survivors. So this is one of those things as well that we definitely need to, to look out for out there in the, in the wilderness now. Also, since coal is pumping up, we should actually go for a resource depot, right? It's just super important. And let's start. Let's have the resource depots here by my snow pit as well. So this is an area that we don't need to heat and we don't need to go there constantly. So it's safe for me to actually build one of these then here by the snow pit. Bar outside. An area that we don't need to worry about then afterwards. Long hours of toil. I won't address this. And good day. <laughs> Discontent goes up and up and up like nothing else. We can do some evening prayers, reducing discontent and increasing hope for some 20 food rations. And there's also now the infirmary coming. There it is. The most important and the most powerful healing building there is in this game. And with that, just, just on time, we have the 100 wood. Let's go for mechanical calculators. This is going to take a while, 12 hours. And with that, we'll unlock a whole row of new, um, yeah, of new tech. Cold homes, I cannot address this right now. You should never do this. It's way too risky. And I'm I'm taking the hit here, right? Basically. We're still working on steam level one, just fine, right? So we get chilly temperatures in the bunkhouses. Other than that, it's okay. The stone ship unfortunately reveals nothing. And just a new point of interest, cracked ice and an empty cave. It's not looking good out here. Yeah, let's go for cracked ice, but I have not a good feeling about this area. But we are really far out there now, so we probably just stick to it. Capped on the coal. Not much more we can do on this part, so I really need that resource depot. 
And to work a bit on this content, I could get the overdrive working just for tonight. There you go. So it's really comfortable warm in there now. And with that, we could go for the emergency shift. I'm really, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm hesitant now to use it because it's not that easy anymore for us to work on this content, right? It's just, there's not that much more in that I could do to really reduce it. And, hmm, yeah, overtime work it is as well. So let's not, let's not do the emergency shift. I don't think it's necessary. Abandoned rack, this looks good. We found plenty of steel and coal in and around the rack, like someone was trying to move the supplies. Some coal, wood, and steel. Still no survivors. Go for the damaged snowcat. Sounds promising. I need survivors. We need another group of people. There it is, also my resource depot and we can put coal in. And this gives me 900 more storage on coal, doubling essentially our stockpile on this. Super important for the next storm then as well. Day 19. In this case, we have two more days with negative 50, so it's really warm. <laughs> and we can just keep everything going. Sick rate is fine. And we are really healing those guys quickly. Oh, and we should deactivate the overdrive. Yeah, next point of interest. You can see it's really quickly right now, thanks to the scout slats. Cracked ice was nothing. Scattered slats and the yellow flag. Uh, we're really far outside here, by the way. So, I don't know. Let's go for scattered slats. It's close, and then we probably go for the yellow flag. I think these are the last points out there that we have for now. Mechanical calculators, that's happening today. And we have then enough wood and steel for the next research then already. Ghosts on the horizon. Captain, the beacon lookouts have reported an extraordinary sighting. A Victoria-class dreadnought rack has been spotted on the horizon. These advanced vehicles were used for the most important tasks. The news fills our people with nostalgia. We might find some heirlooms from our past in this hulk, says one of the scouts. A worker adds, we should gather them so that our children remember who we were once and who we might yet become. The rack has been marked on the map. We should hurry to reach it before the next blizzard covers it forever. And this basically gives me the relics now. So over here we have the buried dreadnoughts. These give me, yeah, some nice story bits that we can find um, of the past, of what happens here actually, why the storm is happening, what happens to society, and why these generator, uh, generators are there. It's really interesting, and we are trying to get as many as possible. Another law. In this case, yeah, not that important anymore. We got the temple, uh, a really powerful building, also very expensive, right, for more um, race hoping and discontent falling. <laughs> and we can also go for the faith keepers. This actually is then really radical, right? So we can go the radical route. We can also go the more a moderate route. Um, I haven't decided yet. Let's just wait on that. It's not important to go for this at the moment. Mechanical calculators. There it is. And with that, holy cow, we got really important stuff right now. One of them is the efficient gathering. The um, the, uh, the the gathering posts work even faster. Another 15% bump for this. This is super important as we, we have our whole coal economy based on that, right? Industrial Hothouse is another very good one because it boosts my food production. Um, and then, of course, generator power upgrade number two, so we can raise the heat level once more. This all really comes together there. So let's start with the efficient gathering for that wood. Also, today what I would like to do, I would really like to bump it up on my wood and steel production now. And once the day is over, we can start on the upgrades, right? So there's going to be some very important upgrades now that we need to do and we should be doing. Workday is over. Let's actually start with that. And as you can see, steam sawmill. And this is actually a third more. So 30% more um, income out of one of these. Let's have one here. And I hope I can still, yep, go for the steam steelworks as well. And this is actually almost twice as much output. So we just upgrade those now. The workers, they're built that right away. We should be fine. United by faith. 
So we're holding an evening of prayer this afternoon. Plenty of people are here. They're praying, but also talking and laughing. I haven't seen anything disheartening in our city for a long time. It's really brought the community together. Let's also have a sermon to celebrate. Alright, so those two are being upgraded. So tomorrow we'll have way more steel and wood coming in. Super important. This content is really low. So let's, you know what, let's actually go ahead and get that uh, work shift going. Right, so let's actually bump it up to a full next uh, shift. And yeah, really we should probably go for that next workshop. Alright, my scouts also get to their new locations. Scattered slats? Steam cores! This expedition was attacked by polar bears. Judging from the damage to the slats, most of the bodies are dismembered. Bones bear deep uh, bite marks and signs of chewing. Luckily for us, the animals were not interested in the steam cores carried on the slats. Two steam cores, super important for infirmaries, hothouses. Yellow flag is next. So this scout team there is carrying quite a bit now. And next up we have them. There they are. Damaged snowcat. Uh, we found some supplies. It's a bit of steel. I was hoping for a bit more. Empty snow hut. Super close to that. Let's go for it. Where are survivors? Are we really that unlucky right now? I don't believe it. Usually we find some very early. Alright, the next day is dawning. Are we also really that bad on food? It seems like it. Efficient gathering. 15% faster speed now on the gathering posts. That will bump it up on my call quite nicely so we can stockpile even more. Next up on my list for research. Probably the generator power upgrade. We could also go for a heater efficiency. But we are getting a two level drop there. Uh, heater efficiency upgrade it is most likely. Further reducing our coal rates. Have we upgraded? Yes, we have upgraded. So there's six tons of uh, six steel now coming in per hour, and there we have seven wood, and it's not even full efficiency yet. So this is all very nice on these markers there. And yeah, let's go ahead with the heater efficiency, most likely. Mm, cooker's insulation is also nice. Do we already have the heater activated there? Yeah, we have. I might need that insulation. For houses, it's a bit too early, right? So we can we can still have some room here to, to fiddle around with. Yeah, so let's have the heater efficiency upgrade. That's actually pretty important because we, soon we're going to need now to keep those heaters running all the time. And this further increases then my, um, my supply there. Yeah. I mean, also we get another heat level here, right? With the steam sawmill, so it's livable there. We should probably do the same thing for this one too. If I have enough steel by then, that would be amazing. Ah, discontent, discontent. And the infirmary was how much? Another 20 steel. I need more steel. Not having enough right now. Next point of interest. Empty snow hut. There's nothing. Uh, this is getting super unlucky. Cliffside path. This also sounds empty. What is this? Usually there should be survivors close by. Yeah, let's go for the cliffside path. I have my doubts. Day is over. Um, let's go for... Let's go for the next steam sawmill. Ah, I'm missing the steel. There it is. So we would have enough steel now. Steam sawmill it is. Number two. We go for this upgrade right away, just on time for the temperature drop. That additional steam level is going to be super nice for us. Yellow flag, no survivors. Resources is fine. That's the end of the line here. So we could go for the empty cave now via small cairn. Where are those survivors? It's getting a bit nasty now, right? Negative 70. So this is the... The storm level that we already had. Ah, very good. That overdrive did an amazing job there. And... There it's going to hit us. 
nothing we can do about this. Negative 70. I will need to permanently ramp it up now to steam level 2 on the, the generator. With that, the economy keeps going. But it's cold now, so we will have to use the overdrive every night at the moment. Cliffside path, nothing but some supplies. And that's the end of the line here too. Holy cow. Let's go for rock gate. There's also now the heater efficiency upgrade coming in, just on time. Further reducing our uh, coal consumption. We have some 27 steel again. Mm, this would give me another generator power upgrade. Uh, or we go with the houses to further boost the... Yeah, uh, I mean, we get a temperature increase again to 60, so this will be fine on the houses. We still need houses now, though. Healthcare insulation. We don't really need this hothouse insulation. We also really don't need this right now. Mm. Overdrive coupling is nice. Might actually go for overdrive coupling. Since we're full on wood, I can readjust uh, to gathering posts. And we, we should also then, in this case, while we're here, also upgrade then the steam coal thumper. I'm doing this this evening. And this will then double the output of the coal thumper. So that three gathering posts can fully work here. Yeah, it's cold even with the upgrade here now. This one we can turn off, so we don't consume that heating. Cookhouse is fine, food is fine, the hothouses, yeah, it's chilly in there, but it's okay. I can have another evening prayer. There's the evening now, and let's activate the steam cold thumper level 2. That we can build here now, so this is going to be a nice bump. Hmm, come on. Yellow flag it is. Give me something. Let's also activate the overdrive for this night. So people have it at least chilly. Small cairn to the empty cave. Oh, yeah. And we actually need to keep the 24-hour shift here working. Otherwise, those people will be freezing. And there's another two things that we can do now tomorrow, and that is build the infirmary finally. That would be my main goal here. By the way, we should also get some engineers into that medical tent. Next day, let's deactivate the driving again. There's the next storm coming. Yeah. It's on the horizon and we haven't found survivors. This is the worst case that can happen, really. I don't know if we can survive the second storm without survivors. Back to normal, the temperature has... Oh, the hazard is gone. Overdrive decoupling, there it is. That's important, and I think next on the line would be the houses now. Yeah, go for houses. We probably will have to do an over emergency shift on the steel works there. Don't laugh. <laughs> but I need more steel. The next steel deposit is over here? No, over here. So that's really far away. I mean, we have to boot, but I don't have the workforce. As always, workforce is the main problem right now. Especially on my call. All right. Uh, for this day, we're going to do something. I'm going to wait still to, to heal as many as, as, as possible, but we need to build that infirmary. Absolutely. Both scouts arrived. Empty cave. There's nothing empty as the name says. Broken tree and lonely light. There's a light. This might have a good chance. And rocky gate. Nothing. Except the snow huts over there. Let's go for them. I don't care about relics at this point, right? We need survivors. I really don't care about relics. We can always get them later. No problem on that. Um, emergency shift on the steelworks. Yeah, I mean, we're at 80 steel. This is actually fine. When you look at it that way. Let's build... We still have so many sick. There it is. Let's dismantle both of these medical posts now. 
real quickly right do it do it and now we can build the infirmary there it is right in the center here super important product uh, building it can house up to 20 people there it is and it will be insanely efficient on healing rates we got the first infirmary going that's actually a milestone did cost me another steam core but we have them and with that theoretically we will not need that medical post anymore i'm still going to keep it for now right but it should be fine so we're looking at treatment rates here of about two to six hours tops right which is ah, about nine hours actually for the severe cases but that's still totally fine i will still add uh, probably do we have engineers anywhere still looking around uh, no i will need them All right, next day. <laughs> Lonely light. It is only resources. Most of the victims died violently. Some still locked in a deadly struggle. The supplies are intact and the light is powered by a wind generator. These people were obviously well prepared. This is truly bizarre. It is bizarre. It is bizarre that we haven't found survivors. A broken tree over there? Ah, the snowy hills. There's, there's, there will be nothing here. And the storm is coming in now. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh, 70 again. So it's warming up a bit for the last time. A, a bit of a room to breathe, right? I'm going to keep the level 2 upgraded though. There's the house. That's going to be super nice for insulation. And then we actually go for generator upgrade 2 now. This will then allow us to raise the temperature once more. We're going to need it for the storm. However, I don't fully have the coal production for that yet. The, the coal thumper is now working. As we can see, all three gathering posts are fully staffed. And bring in the coal. I don't think this will be enough though. Alright, house it is. This gives me another base heating level. So, you know, another area for my people to stay safe. Now there's also the problem then with the medical care. We have the infirmary now working. And with that, theoretically, I don't need that medical post here anymore, right? So I would probably like to delete it. And then we could have a bunkhouse here again in this area. And that's something I should probably push. Because I don't want to have this steam hub here running all the time just for, these, for this bunkhouse there, right? So let's actually dismantle uh, this medical post. Survivors in the snow huts. Yes, we're going to ask... Oh, that's 25 kids. <laughs> Are you kidding me? These people sheltered in their snow huts during a snowstorm. When it was over, they found their sleds had become stuck in solid ice. The two men sent for help have vanished without trace. 25 kids, 13 workers, and no engineers. This is the worst of the worst case you can get. Survivors super late into the game, and also only kids primarily. I'm going to send them to Winterborn. I'm going to escort them because there's not much searching we can do, right? I need to start sending the scouts back home now because that storm is coming in. But yeah, this is not, not ideal at all. Um, let's build a house. Uh, we probably will build another steam hub now. Or actually, no. No, I will need to build another steam hub regardless. So... We just need to be super efficient about it. It's probably going to be somewhere over here. That's my next area that we can use then, right? Steam hub plus houses. Let's start building that road. So this is my next area of expansion now, behind the infirmary. So that we can also get an infirmary, a second one then into this area. Snowy hill, there's nothing. Um, so we can go for one more thing. Steam lorry, that sounds promising for some steam cores. Always good to have some more steam cores. That thumper is really pushing now. So yes, we have a nice surplus there of coal. So we'll cap on it soon. But I will not, I mean, 
theoretically we do have engineers for another tech workshop after the storm we need to have three going infirmary fully working now almost no sick people this area for the next expansion is ready right so we can get more people into a fighting arena into the house of prayer and then also into another steam hub that i'm probably going to have somewhere here there's going to be some overlapping of course i think this will be fine let's add it now angry about the cold captain our people are protesting they've gathered in an angry crowd because they forced them to live in cold homes for too long they've watched helplessly as their children have fallen ill and they have had enough what i'm treating them uh let's see all homes uh, i won't address this right now discontent will raise greatly yeah there it is so much drama power upgrade number three just let's check it out we can actually afford this but let's turn it down on steam level two and next up on the list is, yeah, the industrial hothouse. We're going to get survivors in. That means we have a higher food consumption. So the industrial hothouse number upgrade number one is going to be super important for us here, right? That's just that. With the overdrive coupling, I can actually get two temperature levels out. So let's activate this for tonight. And now it's comfortable in those homes, right? Leading to a greatly reduced discontent. Look at that. And we can keep this going. This one we turn off for now. I also just love how the snow retracts and comes back again. If you activate or deactivate it. Next up on my list, a lot of more steel. So I'm going to use this to uh, put the steam workshop into a an emergency. Even though my scouts would also bring in more right, steel. That's fine, but that's a bit late. So let's activate this for now. Because I want to really upgrade to houses now. We got the first house here. Not only do they look much better, but they also have a really good heating level. And this is what we need then for this next storm here now. So far so good. Day 24 it is. Winterborn will prevail. Stay tuned.